Oh my gosh. It's another Star Wars video. Why? Well, because I have people who enjoy it. I'm Rob. This is Entertainment and Star Wars. I'm here. You're there. And with that being said, Daisy Ridley is the chosen one. Let me explain. Let me explain. Kathleen Kennedy lies. Didn't we know this all along? Didn't we know that there was no plan, there was no direction, that they were just winging it? The big shocker in this trailer, of course, the reappearance of Palpatine. Uh, what can you tell us about this? How, how long was this, was this in the cards? Was this sort of in the blueprint from Episode 7? This has been in the blueprint for a long time. Liar! 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 And despite all them saying, well, there was a plan, and Palpatine was the plan, and this is the right direction where we're going, we knew all along that Palpatine was going to be the... No, they didn't. They didn't have a clue. Here's what happened. They kept rewriting. They had directors. People, they didn't like the way the direction was going. So what did they do? They fired this one, hired J.J., and... They got Ryan Johnson in halfway, and he's like, okay, JJ didn't finish the movie. Okay, go ahead. Just write whatever you want. You know, we'll go with it. You, you can't write movies like that. You can't write trilogies like that. But Kathleen Kennedy said there was always a plan for Ray's parents. And Daisy Ridley, back after The Force Awakens was released, she said that it was pretty obvious whose Ray's parents were. Now, she meant Obi-Wan Kenobi, Ben Kenobi. That's, she meant that that was their relation, whether they were nephew or uncle or whatever, or she was an offspring of him. I don't know. You're going to see Daisy here in a quick interview talking about it. Kathleen Kenny is full of crap. She kind of reminds me of Amber Heard. Just a bunch of bull coming out of her mouth. So let's listen, listen to the chosen one. Da not Ray, no, no. Daisy Ridley. Why is she the chosen one? Because she exposed Kathleen Kennedy for what she is. You Have you been keeping Ray's secret from the beginning? Did you know about the parentage? Like, uh, tell me about that, that journey of when you found out. No. At the beginning, there was toying with like an Obi Wan connection, and then um, it really went. There were like different versions, and then it really went to that she was no one. And then it came to episode nine, and JJ pitched me the film and was like, "Oh yeah, Palpatine's granddaddy," and I was like, "Awesome!" And then two weeks later, he was like, "Oh, we're not sure." So it kept changing. So then, even I was filming, and I wasn't sure what the answer was going to be. So there you have it. The truth shall set you free. She was a Kenobi. Then she was a nobody. And then she was a Palpatine. There was no plan. They just winged it. Now Johnson said, oh, does it matter if we're just winging it? We're still putting this same effort into these movies. It does. Because your story sucked. So Kennedy, who has lied all this time, saying, we, have, we don't have anything. You know, George just left us a blueprint. Later on, comes out and says, oh, we have comics, and we have this, and we have a treasure trove, a treasure trove of stuff. That's what George told Kathleen Kennedy. doesn't mean I'm unwilling to turn it over to Kathy to do more. Mm -hmm. I have story treatments of 7, 8, and 9, and a bunch of other movies, and, and obviously we have hundreds of books and comics, and everything you could possibly imagine. So, you know, I sort of moved that treasure trove of stories and various things to Kathy and, you know, I have complete confidence that she's gonna take them and make great movies. I'm doing this so that the films will have a longer life and so that more fans and people can enjoy them in the future. It's a very big universe I've created and there's a lot of stories that are sitting in there. The main thing is to protect these characters make sure that they still continue to, to live in the way that you created them, and that the universe of Star Wars continues to grow. Liar! 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 
I get to be a fan now, which is what I was saying before, and I sort of look forward to it. It's a lot more fun, actually, than actually having to go out in the mud and You can actually blog about what we're doing and how we're messing things up. No, 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 no. I just say, gosh, they're out in the snow and it's cold, <laughs> and uh, hopefully it'll be an inspiring package of entertainment that it has always been well, well, well into the future. That they had a treasure trove of stuff when he left. He even had 789 planned, and Iger's like, yeah, we didn't listen to him. We didn't care. We just wanted to go our own direction. To them, this was nothing more than a cash grab. That's what it was. It was a cash grab. They had no plan. They didn't know what to do with Ray's parents. And like Lost, they were Lost. And why do I mention Lost? It's a show I didn't even watch. It's because J.J. likes to leave these boxes. These, uh, he likes to call them mystery boxes. But the problem is he leaves the questions and he doesn't answer them. And the Rise of Skywalker, I felt the same way. I went in questioning and I went out questioning. And Kathleen Kennedy even said during the interview, I think the Rise of Skywalker, it doesn't answer anything. It actually, it's provocative, it asks questions, and it could mean a lot of different things. And I think that that's what was important to us. We didn't want to have a title that felt like it was telling you the story. That the Rise of Skywalker doesn't answer all your questions. So what the hell kind of garbage is this? It's the finale. It should answer all my questions. It shouldn't have to leave me to buy comic books or magazines or, or books to figure out the answers to these things. I should have all my answers in the movie, not left to my imagination. The bottom line is, it was all a lie. Kathleen Candy made Galaxy's Edge what it is today. She could have had the original trilogy, but no. She could have had the prequels and the sequel trilogy and whatever else. She could have put Rebels in and a whole bunch of stuff, but she didn't do that. You see, Kathleen Kennedy's behind this mess. Whether they admit it or they don't, she lied about everything. They never had a plan with the movie. They never had a plan with Ray's parents. And Palpatine was a bad guy at the end. It wasn't supposed to be him. It was Snoke. But Snoke was a clone. Because J.J. had to cover up Johnson's mess. And Johnson had a mess because Lucasfilm never gave him anything. He said, just go. Here, we'll just tell you this because that's all we're doing. We're still filming. So you go. So did they rush? Yeah. Did they just look for the cash grab? Yeah. And in the meantime, you know what they did? They hurt the franchise. I can only hope that Disney Plus saves the franchise with all these shows that are coming out. Such as, well, we know The Mandalorian. We know about The Bad Batch. Obi-Wan. Lando. And the Rogue One spinoff. Possible Ky Ben Solo, Kylo Ren spinoff. Ahsoka Tano spinoff. I can only hope that Disney Plus is going to save Star Wars. Because at this point, it's really not looking good. And it's all because of Kennedy. Had Kennedy listened to George in the first place, we might not have been in this mess. Could have been that way, should have been that way, would have been excellent, but they didn't end it like that. They totally screwed it up. Kennedy's a liar. Bottom line, there was no plan. There was no plan about his parents or Palpatine. It's sad. But thank you, Daisy Ridley, for being the true chosen one. For telling the truth. Because the truth now has set us free. And finally, finally, Kathleen Kennedy is what said. I remember sitting up on that panel when J.J. turned to me and he just was so delighted in saying, the audience is so smart. And it's true. They are. They get everything. The fans are smart. You're damn right we are. And you're a liar. And we knew it all along. You're exposed. You're busted. You are crap. I can't wait till this year when she's done. That's going to be the most exciting thing that comes out of 2020. When we go into 2021, 
Hopefully, Kathleen Kennedy is no more. As her contract will expire. I'm Rob of Entertainment Star Wars. I'm here, you're there, you've been there. You let me know what you think in the comment section below of Kathleen Kennedy being exposed as a liar that we all knew she was. Sorry I wanted to rant a little. And I'll catch you next time, Entertainment Star Wars.